about ten years ago. My daughter was about 2,500 kilometers from Newcastle and rang me one day sobbing because of an emotional trauma she was facing. She was about 20 and in a town known as Iral Beach in northern Queensland. I asked her what it was that she needed most at that moment. And she replied that she needed support, and my arms around her would be the best thing that she could hope for. Because I couldn't do that in the exact moment, I asked her to describe her surroundings to me. I have absolutely no idea why at the time. And said that if she hadn't heard from me in about 30 minutes to ring me back, I asked her to stay exactly where she was. I had no idea how I was going to ring her back. By the way, as he was calling from a public phone booth, near a little park, surrounded by a few shops in the main street of Aral Beach. Okay then. After hanging up the phone, I just sat for a few seconds. After only a very short time, a phone number jumped into my head, and even though I recognized it, it wasn't a commonly used number of mine. I rang the number and it was a woman who had bought a house from me about 18 months previously, when I was working in real estate. My exact words to her were these, oh it's you Liz. I have no idea why I'm calling you in particular, but my daughter is stranded in Iro Beach, and I just got the thought to ring you and tell you that. Have you any idea why? It could be because my son lives there, says Liz. Oh, really? That's got to be it, I said. Do you mind giving me his phone number, Liz? Of course not. I only hope that he can be of some help. Liz gave me his mobile number and I rang straight away. Only about five minutes have passed since telling my daughter that somehow I get her help. Fortunately, he answered immediately and I told him the story of who I was and why I had rung. I gave him the descriptions of my daughter where she was standing and that she needed emotional support if he could find it in his heart to help out so unexpectedly like this. Oh yes, I can see her, he said. She's right across the street from where I'm standing. He walked across the street and told my daughter that her dad had sent him. Imagine that. She almost fainted. Only ten minutes had passed since she had rang me. I believe that she said something like this. Wow. Wow, dad's getting pretty good at this stuff. She was taken to a safe house. Nurtured and supported. Given food and a bed for a couple nights. And also, given money to get herself to where she needed to be. That's intuition at its best. It may save a life or two if people can embrace the use of intuition and learn to trust it. Remember, what others do or say is their stuff. How we react or not is our stuff. That was for today's story. Please leave a like, and if you wanted to hear more stories, please subscribe to Storytime channel.